Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. So I decided to start off over here in Ronnie's Rise. Now that uh, the stars are moving again, because I defeated General Radon, I'm thinking that she will be awake. She, uh, remember, she said that she was going in a deep sleep for a while, um, and Sorceress Selen said that, um, that her fate was tied to the stars, but Star Scourge Radon had prevented the stars from moving. Oh, she still looks way asleep. Yeah, okay. Okay, so she is not... She's not moving yet. In that case, what we're gonna do... Uh, let's explore this this area here. I'm just going to go into this town from the side where I where I know that there's already an entrance. Celia Town of Sorcery. Um so I have frost build up. It's not uh this is not the recommended build that I well based on my personal experience, I don't think this is what you normally want to do. Um, because the, um, ah, there we go, because uh, the ghosts respond more to magic. Okay, so kind of a big ambush there, some ruin fragments. Big painting. The Red Main Painting. I remember them saying that there's a town of uh that there's a town of sorcery that was all like um basically ruined, so this must be a Selen Town of Sorcery. But there's Sorceress Selen too, so I wonder if she's uh I wonder if maybe she was in charge here. Michaela's Lily. Oh, those things just explode. Okay, good to know. Got an Aeonian butterfly. What can I what can I make with those? Smoldering butterfly. Okay, so it'll probably be a crack pot recipe, I think. Yeah. If uh, so, smoldering butterfly makes um, uh, smoldering butterfly makes some fire things. So I'm gonna guess uh, Aeonian is scarlet rot. Poison. Oh, nice! I got poison grease. Kella's Lily. I didn't notice this, but my uh, gold pickled foul foot is still active. Okay, so I can't get in through there. There's a guy up here, though. Where'd you go? Got a row of 
fruit. My goal is just to kind of clear out everything I can find so I can uh, so I can explore safely and in peace. Ladder ahead. Oh! I didn't even see that. Applaud that message. Thank you, sir. Are there more... more baddies around here? I see some Aeonian butterflies up there. Where is that? Oh! How do I get up there? I'm, I, oh, I bet I have to use torrent. I got to do rooftop hopping. Can I get up there? Is that a door I can open? It doesn't look openable. No. Okay. Never hurts to check. Alright, some faded birdly flower. Picked up a glintstone staff that I missed. There's definitely a way up there on the onto those rooftops. Is this the path I've already taken? That looks like it. Aha! Here we go. Is there a uh, side of grace up here? Oh no, but there is a golden seed. Always happy to get one one of those. All right, here we go. Now that is a curious one. How do I get up there? Uh, oh, that would that direction. Okay. have time to deal with that thing. Toxic mushroom. There we go. Nice, okay. Cerulean tear scarab. Okay, the sca and if I remember correctly, the scarabs are... Um, Equipable on your uh, like as as headwear, so I'm not gonna not gonna use that. Stone sword key, nice. Light the flame. A seal was broken. Oh, nice. Okay. That's... Okay, this is pretty cool. I like this town. Um, like a little... Little puzzle to unlock a door. And it's pretty neat. I'm gonna see if I can... Get to this guy before he runs away. Oh, you little turd.
Gotcha. Ash of War, double slash. Oh, there's balconies on these things. No! Crap. Oh, the seal broke a bunch of stuff. Night Comet. There was a there was a seal back here. That was some raw fruit. Imbued stone sword key. Hey, that's the um I think I've got two of those now. Let me check. Key items. I've got... Oh, I've got three of them. And there's a total, I think, of four belfries. So I need one more and I can explore all the belfries that were in uh, Lyernia. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, too far. This is gonna sound dumb, but I actually forgot how to get up there. Oh, that's right, I had to go up the staircase. Oh! That one that seal is still active, okay. see any other balconies with goodies, so this must be the only one. Staff of Loss. There's a dude down there, so I gotta be careful when I jump down. Staff. Staff of Loss. Boosts invisibility sorcery. Uh... Staff missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. I don't know what that word means. This staff only distinguishes itself when casting invisibility sorceries, but that reason is enough for some to wield it. Oh nice, hey, another, another treasure chest. Man, I love this town. Spell Drake Talisman plus one. I'm gonna guess that would give me better better sorcery casting ability. Uh, Talisman depicting a duo of blue ancient dragons greatly boosts magic damage negation. Uh, the ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. That's pretty cool. I mean, how do I how do I get in here? Is there like another another ladder or something? All right, this is bizarre.
Maybe here? Here we go. Another seal. Now, before we go too far, I am curious what is over here. There's the big gate. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, whoa. All right. Scarlet Rot T-Rex dog. Gallery's shack. Hey, buddy. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage, in my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret, I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. I didn't even know I needed to give it to him. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Can you give me as well made? Okay. Well, I will return to you, uh, Mr. Creepy Face, in a little bit. So. I gotta say, I used to, like a long time ago, when uh, when I first played this, I did not like Kaled at all. I struggled constantly with it, um, and I didn't find uh, like the Scarlet Rot stuff enjoyable, uh, but giving it another playthrough, uh, I'm like, you know what? This place is pretty awesome. Um, the Scarlet Rot, uh, I haven't been affected by it too much yet, so... Uh, so there's probably still time, uh, like room for this to change, like my opinion. I mean, but uh, but I'm having a, a really good time in this area. Aside from the uh, the salty nature of my uh, what was it like two or three episodes ago when I was like, you know what, everything here is way stronger than me. I'm just not in the mood to fight all of this. All right, can I Skyrim this? Doesn't look like it. All right, how do I get up there? There's a giant up there, and I want to kill it. What about stuff? Do I get shinies over here? No? Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, so there's a, a walkway that direction. Okay. So I will have to go through this um, town of Celia. Oh, you know what? Once I'm once I'm in the gate, I want to see what the, the what he said the secret of the town was. I'm gonna guess the secret of the town is like 
uh, there are seals and everybody's invisible or something. Which I already had the pleasure of finding out. Uh, let's see. The town of Celia hides the source. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. I have only lit two. Um. Okay. I don't know how to get up to that one. That actually doesn't even look like a... That doesn't look like a place I could get to. Um, Alright, gotta find a third, and then we'll break a seal. Aha! No, oh, dang it. That one was pretty, uh, that, that one was hidden. I like that. Town of Sorcery was a pretty cool, um, pretty cool little area. All right. Weak foe, oh weak foe. I don't believe that. Anytime someone's ever said, well, you know what, it's, it's, it could be. Sword. Wow, that was... That wasn't even a boss fight. Like, that was just a couple of bad guys. Yeah, that... <laughs> that could be... Um, patched a little bit, just to, you know, make it an actual boss fight. I don't know, maybe it's different in New Game Plus. Lusat's Glintstone Staff. What do you, what is, uh, what's that all about? Here we are. Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Lusat. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Enhances powers of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Uh, no skill associated with it. Okay. I wonder if that's normal for all the, all the staffs. So that was, that was a little disappointing. I was hoping for like a boss fight, boss fight. When they said weak foe, I was thinking maybe they're trying to trick me or maybe um, it's just like slightly weaker than a normal boss for the area. No, that was, that's like if I went and fought a boss in Limgrave right now. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty close to another level. Why don't let's just grab that? Uh, let's say I need 30. Yeah. Do 
1200 more. There we go. Oh, and I'm going to be shy uh, by like 30. Here we go. Okie dokie. I'm not going to stick around and fight a bunch of those things. A lot of these, like, undead enemies, I'm, uh, I'm just like, you know, unless you're hiding something, like you're guarding something that I really want, I don't really see much point in fighting you. Or if they're, like, hunting me down. Oh my god, that thing came at me. Alright, so here I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. So, that must be the uh, church upon the hill that that dude was talking about. Oh, they just keep spawning. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Alright, let's take these guys out. Faded Erdly Flower. Church of Plague. A sacred tear. Aeonian butterfly. Are these? Oh, sacramental buds. Oh my goodness. I will get to you in just a minute. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. If you are wise, my flesh... Okay, so she's trying to get me to leave, which is understandable. Uh, okay. Okay. So now let's go back. I think I can make it safely through town. I'm just going to get on torrent and ride. Actually, uh, we'll we'll cut off the uh, the episode here. This is actually a good stopping point because now we're about to start kind of or wrap up another side quest here. Um, maybe wrap up. I don't know. So, uh, in, um, at the beginning of the next episode, we're gonna, uh, go talk to that, uh, sorcerer dude, see if he's fixed up the needle. Uh, he said that I need to heal her, um, uh, the girl at the, at the top of the church, and that's the Church of Plague, so I'm guessing that this is some sort of sinister plot, um, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. So, I will see you all in the next episode.